And do you use weather compensation, Andy, on your installs? Oh yes, I love to. You know, given uh, if the customer will let us push to that, that limit, it's perfect. I mean, my best example of weather compensation is, must be eight or nine years ago, I fitted to 200 at Mum's house. Yeah. Mum, she's 88 now, she loves a hot house. It's got to, heating's got to be on. If, it's, if it drops, I get a phone call. She's got a weather compensated 200, it's been in eight years and it keeps the house warm for her and she loves it so I know it's cold outside the rads are flat out mm. and it's warm I always touch the rad in the morning she responds by saying depending on how hot or cold the rad is I know what the temperatures are outside okay. and I even though dementia unfortunately is taking hold she she recounts to me regularly about how pleased and how much she loves the heating system yeah. and that's a 200 weather comp system which she absolutely adores it just on all day and I've had other customers where I've told them Weather comp, run all day, don't yeah. turn it off, mm. and it'll be cheaper and more efficient at keeping the house warm. Yeah. And surprisingly, they've come back later and said, actually, our fuel bills have gone down, even though the heating is on all day. Okay. So mm. the fabric of the house the is, fabric is retains kept, a well, base load. It keeps warm at a lower level. Mm. And especially when they're not there, when they go to work, mm. nobody's opening doors, nobody's opening windows, you're just putting in low-level heat. Mm. And, the, and the boiler, it's like running up and down the motorway, isn't it? If you run up and down the motorway all day at a steady speed, much better than the short stop start round town. Yeah. So you keep your boiler on, let it run all day at a low heat, and it, it, it works, it works brilliantly.